Here we have new HIMARS strike on a place where Russians gathered equipment at a gas station in the village of Veliki Kopani, occupied Kherson region. This strikes are really terrifying for Russian invaders. Ukrainians are constantly operating on the Russian side of the border. An FPV drone hit a Russian BM-27 Urigan in the Bilhorod region, at least damaging it. And Russians are crazy about this event. They published additional footage of the landing of the landing force using UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters in the Belgorod region. The remarkably high number of Russian officer casualties in Ukraine is indicative of a significant overall toll. Brief update by Joni Askola with data from killed in Ukraine. Multiple estimates of Russian casualties in Ukraine exist, and they vary. While the precise number of losses suffered by Russia remains uncertain, it is evident that the toll is significant and exceeds that of Ukraine. An often overlooked statistic shedding light on the remarkably high number of Russian losses is the count of deceased officers. Killed in Ukraine has been diligently collecting evidence of visually confirmed deaths of Russian officers. So we have one lieutenant general, six major generals, 91 colonels, 223 lieutenant colonels, and so on. During a full-scale war, the ratio of soldiers to officers lost is notably higher due to the substantially larger number of soldiers and the propensity for officers to take fewer risks, even when they are targeted whenever possible. Each war is unique, making it nonsensical to compare Russian casualties in Ukraine to those of Western armies in the Middle East. However, for perspective, in the Winter War, out of the total Finnish total casualties, officers represented under 3.9% killed in Ukraine has visually confirmed the deaths of 3,917 Russian officers. The actual number is likely higher. This number does not include wounded, missing, and captured officers. When including them, total losses of officers are likely above 10,000 for Russia. As per Oryx, Russia has incurred the loss of 15,264 pieces of heavy equipment in this conflict, all visually confirmed. While there isn't a perfect correlation between material and human losses, it's important to note that most material losses involve human casualties. At times, pro-Russians assert that most of the losses occurred during the initial phase of the war, but this assertion is contradicted by Oryx's figures for the recent months, particularly in Avdiivka. Considering Russia's tactics to advance in eastern Ukraine and taking into account the statements of Russian figures like Murds or Prigozhin, it's unsurprising that Russian casualties are exceptionally high. The Russian population at large, and even potentially their officials, lack a precise understanding of the losses they have incurred, which are notably high. As a result, Russians bearing a significant burden stemming from the Russian genocide and failed invasion of Ukraine. Ukrainian infiltrators entered the Kaliningrad region of Russia and burned down the Russian missile carrier Serpukov. The Ukrainians are starting to run out of targets in the Black Sea, so now they are mowing over to the Baltic Sea. A Russian missile carrier was destroyed in Kaliningrad, Russia, according to the GUR. According to the informations, on April 7, 2024, on the territory of the enemy's naval base in the city of Baltysk, Kaliningrad region of Russia, the missile ship Serpukov was disabled due to a fire. 
Serpikov is a Russian vessel of Project 21631 Boyan M, launched by the aggressor state in 2015. Due to the fire inside the rocket ship, its means of communication and automation were completely destroyed. It will take a long time to restore the combat capability of Serpikov. A bridge with cars on it collapsed in the Smolensk region of Russia. The Russian media report that one person died, six more were injured. Four spans of the bridge fell on the Moscow-Minsk railway line. Traffic is delayed. The gas pipe is also damaged. The reason for the collapse is wear and tear. According to local residents, the bridge was in an emergency condition, and activists had been seeking its repair for several years. But Russia prefers spending money on war. Там далеко. Много там, надо машину сюда. Да, да. Еба. Охренеть. Вот такая, ребята, тема. No. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.